rewilding could be the key to improving biodiversity in the UK and businesses can get involved. Consider the patches of barren land around pylons or beside motorways, littered wasteland with cigarette stubs around substations or abandoned factories. Many British companies own tens of thousands of hectares of this type of non-operational land or so-called soft estate. Imagine a transformation of sites like this, digging ponds, planting hedgerows, reawakening dormant peat, stripping poisoned topsoil and sowing wild flowers, kickstarting the land's ability to regenerate. Once this phase is complete, the land can be fenced off and animals can be reintroduced to manage it. Soon, the land is bursting with insect and invertebrate life and starts producing the natural clean air, healthy soil, clean water running off the land, flood protection, and the added benefit of the beauty of nature. The land also becomes able to lock away carbon dioxide. Commercial rewilding for corporates has not yet taken off. There's a real opportunity for this change thanks to a combination of Brexit, the proposed new environmental land management scheme, and the Environment Bill. Brexit means farmers will no longer have EU subsidies. They will be looking for alternative sources of revenue. Under the Environment Bill, anyone constructing buildings or infrastructure will be required to leave their sites 10% better off in terms of biodiversity than they were before the work started. This 10% biodiversity net gain requirement is almost impossible to deliver on site. Typically, a new build development takes up to 80% of the land, so it simply can't make the site 10% richer in habitats and species. Developers will therefore have to pay to offset their impact on biodiversity. If developers with biodiversity impact to offset could pay local farmers to use their unproductive land for rewilding projects, this would be a highly beneficial match. If companies with dead land could also start to rewild it to offset their own biodiversity impact, in 10 years time we could see a Britain where land is becoming healthy again. The more areas become rewilded, the more they can be joined up to create a patchwork network of corridors helping wildlife travel and rejuvenate.